Hello and welcome to episode four of Up the Gas. Uh, just the one episode, uh, just the one match for you today against Swindon Town. Uh, but before we get into that, let's just have a quick look and see how it is that we've done in the last couple of games uh, since you were last with me. Um, and we've done pretty well. We've continued uh, to be unbeaten. Uh, we had an excellent four nil uh, away win against Hartlepool, uh, where our new uh, signing. Jiri Oaken, yeah, him. Uh, he got a hat trick. Um, absolutely phenomenal performance. Um, and just absolutely destroyed them. Uh, he's turning out to be quite the inspired signing. Uh, he's he didn't play the following match against Morecambe because he was absolutely knackered. But he will be playing against Swindon today. So hopefully he can. <laughs> Uh, keep up that level of performance but yeah it's despite the fact we've only dropped two points we are now down in third uh, both Exeter and Carlisle uh, have leapfrogged us but yeah I'm quite pleased with those two uh, those those two matches and the best thing was is that we got through them without any additional injuries um, the only one that's still there is Jermaine Easter, Montano and Spiegel, who were uh, all injured still in the last episode. Um, and they will be probably in... Well, those two definitely will. Spiegel will probably be injured still in the next episode. But we're sticking with Pudi for the moment. Um, and yeah. So... The one thing I didn't realise about the Johnson's Paint Trophy is you're only allowed five subs. So i would got the team ready with the traditional seven, uh, or the usual seven I should say, and now it's, I only then just realised that, oh, it's, uh, you need five, five only. So I had a quick rejig, uh, and this is the team uh, that we've got today. It is a bit hodgepodge, uh, I'm not too sure how well it'll do it's a bit of a risk I mean I've, I've got a couple of players who are whinging that they haven't been given enough game time so I've put those in both Clark and Burge have said that they're not happy with only having well Clark's played six times and Burge has only come off the bench three times he's not started yet so this is his first start so he's got to prove himself today um, he's got a decent rating. He's got a three star, three star rating. So he should be all right. But he's behind both Lines and Cullen uh, for though for that attacking playmaker, advanced playmaker position in the central midfield role. So he's got a chance to to prove himself, and hopefully he will uh, take that chance. Andy Johnson's back from injury. He goes straight back into the side. Hopefully against a slightly bigger club, he might do better. Maybe he thinks he can prove himself and thinks this is more his level. Uh, so hopefully, with any luck, uh, him and uh, Oaken will set up a, a decent partnership. But we'll see. I'm not holding my breath. But yeah, just the one episode, so this will be quite short. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get through it. Luke Jones, uh, no captain. Um, hmm. Yeah, screw it. He can be captain. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> right. Any bets on how badly we'll lose this? Swindon, I think, League One. Yeah, League One. Mid-table, League One. So they're not much further up the football league table than us only about 13 14 places ahead of us you know if you look at it that way but we'll see and as i say we've as I said in the last episode we actually uh we've done all right against uh fulham in the championship so i mean a, a, a mid-table league one side shouldn't be a problem should it he says, lying. <laughs> right. Passionate. Now, if I was a Rovers supporter, which I'm not really, but I'd want to beat Swindon, I'd be like, yeah, come on, 
do this for the fans. But that doesn't seem to be an option. So, oh, actually, yeah, let's give the fans something to cheer today. Oh, great, he's stressed. Clark is stressed. Try being a manager. So, oh, I thought Clark was going to get sent off in the first minute then. <laughs> Heart in mouth time. Not a lot's gone on, first 10 minutes. Um, fairly uneventful, which is fine, I'll take that. I really should have looked up the rules for this. For this competition, I mean. I don't actually know, like... If we do... If we get a draw, does it go to a replay? Or is it? does it go to extra time? I don't know. Which is it more like? Is it more like the FA Cup or is it more like the League Cup? Guessing League Cup. I guess it's going to be penalties. Which my poor knackered players really do not want. And... Oof. Should I just throw the game if we, uh, if we do? <laughs> uh, 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 I might not need to throw the game if we carry on like this. We're doing some sort of seat of our pants defending here. We're not really, uh, it's all in our half. Like, they're not giving us any, any chance of respite. It's all it's all Swindon at the moment. But yeah, so they kept they coming on in waves, and I thought that was going to be it. It's a good cross, but that was a wasteful chance for them. But now we finally get a chance to attack. Oh, an offside. We've not even had a shot on target yet. I mean, that's how much we've been outclassed. I mean, it's 35th minute, not even got a shot on target. But... <sighs> Pudi's definitely uh, trying to stake a claim for himself in the side. He's uh, pulling off some great saves. And don't worry, Spiegel's not going to be back for at least another three weeks, so... If he can build up some confidence and uh, hopefully get a bit of competition amongst the keepers, that would be nice. But I don't see it happening. Are we going to get into half-time, Bond? Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, right. Should I make a substitution? No, that would be silly. Right. So we get the kick-off. From left to right, and Bodin just. He should have gone more towards the byline, I think. And then crossed it in. Sort of whip it rather than angle it. I think that makes sense. It'd be quite nice if I could get some sort of webcam here and have sort of like picture in picture type thing. Um. I don't know why it would be nice, you don't particularly want to look at my ugly mug, but still. It would give me something to focus on. <laughs> we are getting completely outplayed. Oh! <laughs> that came off the crossbar. I thought that was going to be us mugging them. I mean, I'll, I'll go, we absolutely mugged, who was it we beat 4-0, it wasn't Luton, it was Hartlepool. Absolutely mugged them. We had four shots on target and we scored them all. They had, I think, 15 shots, seven on target and didn't get a single one. Right. It's gone on longer than I expected. Um, or longer than I intended, sorry, before making a substitution. Uh, right. Clark's knackered. Hill... I don't have a left back on my bench. This is why I hate five substitutes. I have a very clear system of what I like to have on the bench. Right 
right back, left back, centre back, and one of those who can double up, and then a central midfielder, two wingers, or central uh, a winger and a central attack midfielder again, someone who can double up, and then a striker. You can't have that. You don't get the versatility, which is interesting. Um, it pre- pre- presents a certain challenge which you don't get on playing for higher division teams. All right. I don't really... It's the 75th minute. I don't... Well, it will be by the time these take place. I don't really want to just leave it at... at just the one sub. Let's bring on Gosling. Because our crossing has seemed to be effective. It's just not... The crosses haven't been particularly good. They've been sort of getting into there, but we'll see. And that's it. Okay, right. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Still, I mean, even if we lose 1, 2, even maybe 3 nil, they're a much better side than us, I think. I know I said it's only about 15 places difference, but that is quite a lot in terms of budget and and the players that you can attract. I mean, if I was able to have the budget of a League One side, especially an established one like Swindon, then I think it would be a completely different matter. But, I mean, Johnson again has been so disappointing. Maybe I should take him off and bring on yeah, let's do that. What the hell? Attack. Of course, the problem is if we do <laughs> if we do attack and we do get an equaliser, chances are we're not going to get a winner. Not in normal time, anyway. So it's going to then go to extra time if if that's the case. And, it, and my defence is absolutely pooped. But it's not going to matter. We're going to lose. I'm not devastated, to be honest. The board expectation was only to get to the second round. This is the second round, so we've met expectations. So I can now concentrate on the league. Got FA Cup run would be quite nice. If I could get to the third round, especially if we can get a big team, that would be great. I'm not happy with their performance. Performance was bad. Only one shot on target. 21 to 8. Defence did... Well, the goalkeeper did well. I think that's harsh. Only a 6.6. .6. He pulled off a load of saves. Maybe the goal was his mistake. I don't know. Matt Hill's disappointing. Clark played well, though. So that's good. <sighs> anyway. I say, just the one... One game for today for this video. Um, next game will be as a live con. We'll leave a bit of a gap, I think. Um, there's been quite a few games in in succession. It's still early in the season, and we've already done four episodes. I'd like to maybe try and keep it under ten episodes a season, so it's, or on ten. It's a fairly round number. Depending on how we do in like the FA Cup and whatnot. But yeah. FA Cup. Don't know who it is yet. Hasn't been drawn yet. Um and that gives and so we'll go through G October and then do a live com of the FA Cup first round. Whoever that might be against. Um fingers crossed it's some um, Minnow, that would be good, because again, board comp board expectation is I think the first round again. Uh, competitions are set. Expectations reached first round, so we've met expectations already. I mean, they absolutely love me for the performance in the league and everything else. We've met expectations, so so long as I don't get relegated, I'm not going to get sacked. 
and we've already got 25 points, which is half of what we really need to stay up. So, yeah. It's looking good. Hopefully. As long as I don't get like everybody injured again, that would be quite good. Thank you for watching again. Uh, again, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at Jace Curtis. And I will see you for the FA Cup first round. Cheers. Bye-bye.